I was born with this name Alex. But at a point, I said, ah, who is this Alex? Let me just find out there. No. Said, no, 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 no. That is not me. So how to revert to my African name? So that's why I said, I am. My name is Obena. 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 Tuesday born. So a day that you were born, that's your soul day comes with a name. Quite cool. Quite cool. Quite cool. Quite cool. That's good. Oh, get the find out before you go. Yes. Okay. I didn't you go, try to get the find out. You're going to get the, the day that you put it. Oh, okay. The day I was born. Yeah, that's okay. Correct. So let me get to the story. Now, they have this very construction done on the pretest that they're going to use this to protect their traders, used to protect the trade. So initially, all the rooms that we have on the ground floor was meant for storage. But in the early part of the 1500s, when the transatlantic slave trade began, this became dangerous, where the Africans or our people were held before they were sent out to the Caribbean and the Americas. Now, this is a subject that we will go into it in my detail. But let me say that for a period of 155 years, which the Portuguese occupied the Elmina slave castle, 110 years was used for slave trade. At a point, people of Anumansa became fed up with the activities of the Portuguese here, wanting to get rid of them. Mm. They could have done it differently, but this is what they did. They collaborated with another European nation mm -hmm. to get the Portuguese out, thinking that it will stop. When Dutch took over, it became what we used to say from frying pan to fire. To fire. Very, I mean, bad. So that was also here for 235 years. <laughs> Double. In between Portuguese and Dutch, we are talking about some 325 years. Mm. In 1807, in 1814, British and Dutch abolished slavery. But the trade continued for over 50 years. Illegal. In the 1870s, this very structure was no longer profitable for them. Dutch sold it to the British. Now, British were here from 1872 after 1957 when we had our political independence. This is what Dr. Kwame Nkrumah said, our first president. He says, when black man is given the chance, we are capable of managing our own affairs. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to see Africans at the top proffering solutions to our own problems saying that it is time for us to come together to rebrand the African image in so far. So he asked the British to go back home. In fact, with that speed, they did. But you will agree with me that they are back in the system in a different form, different strategies, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. I was telling a group this morning that when you see these Europeans, here, they are not Father Christmas or Santa Cruz going around giving gifts. They are here for a reason. And this is what we must understand, this new agenda, mm -hmm. so that we can rise up to this challenge. Yeah. Right. Because if the one coming after you hasn't stopped, you just have to keep standing. You need to keep going until you find a safer ground where you can fight back. That's what you need to do. Now, people keep asking, we are going to talk about slavery, mm. slavery, slavery. And I keep saying that our history never began with slavery. We all know right. that. Yes. So right. let me, let me record that very point that it all started when the European did someone had got into the parts of the Caribbean and the Americas. Now, in there, they had sugar cane cotton plantations. They started using the Native Americans, and the story continued that brutality that which was meted out to them was said that the, I mean, the, I mean, the population of the Indians was at a point declining. So it's revised that they should get other people to replace them. They tried the Africans, and they got to know that comparatively we could resist the disease much better. So our people were to be sent over there. At the time in history, Portuguese were the only Europeans in the entire West Africa operating from here. So, under the dressing of the church, and when I say the church, I am talking about Roman Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. 
and upon royal order, they were given that license to go around capturing people from this place to the new world. But with time, they were facing a lot of resistance. Seeing that this strategy will not work, this is what they sought to do, was to collaborate with the Africans. In fact, let me tell you a story. I have said that one major problem or factor which contributed to the growth of Atlantic slave trade has to do with the nature of our system prior to the coming of the Europeans. Why do I say so? Like I did say, our history, our civilization never began when the Europeans set foot on African continent. There was a time that this continent was referred to as the cradle of civilization. We have had the diversities of higher learning here, Timbuktu, Jane, and so on and so forth. In West Africa again, we have had beautiful empires. I thought of Ghana Empire, Mali Empire, Sangai, and so on and so forth. But this is the problem. In our very eyes, we saw all these empires being collapsed one after the other. I have said that one of our major problems as Africans is that we always allow our visitors to overstay their work. Wow. They remember it. So, you know, this is how we, we, wow. we, we over, that is, that is this word that we over trust people. Yes. Over-trust. Yes. Over-trust. And this is how Ghana Empire collapsed. We have this sort of Arabs, traders, whatever, came in our midst, we receive them with a good heart. They go to know everything about the empire. Mm-hmm. They multiply and they are normal. They took over. Mm-hmm. We didn't learn from that. It happened to Mali Empire under the Sundi attack. It happened under Sumangu, where the Sangai also, I mean, collapsed. So during the 14th, 15th centuries, this is the problem. All these empires had collapsed. Our people were then moving in groups. So we had declined to tribes, from empire to tribes. Sure. So they were quick enough to capitalize on our deficiencies succeeded in a certain S up against each other. Mm. Against each other. The kingdom of so we were fighting with the ourselves. Mm-hmm. And today we are still fighting. Yep. The method that they employ is what we say divide and conquer. Yeah. If you look at the strategy that they employ prior to our enslavement, was the same method they employed prior to our colonization. So if you remember in 1884, 1885, they had Berlin Conference. Mm-hmm. We sought to divide our yep. faith continent. Yep. So today, Absolutely. Africans in Africa are divided, just like Africans living outside the continent. Mm-hmm. The last time I checked, we are the only continent in the world right. that speak language which is not ours. We have the Anglophone Africans. Francophone Africans, mm-hmm. we have the Lusophone, those who speak Portuguese. And even some are so proud to say they are Arabs. Mm-hmm. This is making the integration and the unity of the continent very difficult. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. We have every resource that you can think of. Right. Yet, this continent is described as one of the poorest. What? It tells you that. We are not doing something correct. That's right. We all know that if we keep applying the same solution to a problem, we're going to get the same result. So going forward, let's learn the strategy. Because European came, they had their share, they are still ripping from the soil. The Chinese are here. So we need to be smart. Mm -hmm. Look at it. For over 400 years of slavery, several years of colonization, this is one of our strengths. We still have the numbers. Africa remains the second populous continent on the earth. In terms of black skin, we dominate the race. Mm-hmm. We have the numbers, that's the advantage. But the point is this numbers without unity is nothing. 
That is why today we have become one of the most endangered species in the world. among human race in the world. You go to Asia, they are chasing Africans. You go to Europe, it is worse. America, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> right. I know it. That's why we're here. And even, even in the Caribbean, it is up. On our own soil, hey! The point is that we have failed to do one thing, which is the night. Mm -hmm. Man. There is no con I mean, condition of people which can give up hope when they allow their enemies to set the tone for them to be violent. Because we see a house divides against itself, cannot stand. Cannot stand. United, we stand, divided, we fall. So let's learn and pick ourselves up from this song of these things. And together, can you? I was telling the group, and they were saying, Alex, do you know, uh, Kobina, um, we can, it is very difficult. Yes, I say, yes, it's difficult. I know it's difficult. But let's go in my mind that journey of thousand miles begin one step. One step. step. So let's take a step. When we are no more, our children come in after us, we take the baton and we continue the race. We cannot remain silent in the course of the struggle. Right. I use uh, one example quite recently during the year of 14. At the tail end, when we saw uh, our brother, uh, the one who was killed, George, George Floyd. Floyd. And very soon, I mean, you get this black life matter. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started doing that, it was also a threat today. So, like it or not, they, they went to court, the verdict or the judgment is out. So, but guess what? If we have women silent, so it is important that wherever we find ourselves, we need to let our voices be heard. Unity is the key. So, in the dungeons, they had 1,000 Africans in the dungeon. All wrong. Wow. A little over 100 Europeans who live here. <laughs> Millions of our people were outside. It is possible that we could have come together and say, you, this hundred people, yeah. leave this place for all these right. sort of nonsense to stop. It's possible. Right. But we allow it to continue because we bought into their propaganda that those in the dungeon suffering, dying, they are not part of us. Mm -hmm. They are from different tribes. So it is them and others. Divide and all. So let's move on and see what we have in the dungeons and we should begin to tell our story.